two what is up it's your boy jv cuts in the cut with another video so in this video i'm gonna show y'all my 2021 barber setup i'm gonna show you guys all the clippers i use all the tools everything around my shop uh new year new clippers start the year fresh but without further ado let's get right into the video all right guys so the first thing i'm gonna show you guys is what i have on my desk it first thing you guys gonna see is my 245 mat uh, this is where I lay all my clippers because I, I like this one the best because it has its own little slot for the clippers. As you guys see, I have Babyliss clippers, have two Babyliss trimmers, and a Babyliss foil shaver. My guards right here, two brushes, one to brush off the hairs off the clippers and one for the client. My straight razor, 245 straight razor. Uh, right here, I just got my clips and my shears you guys just want to have what you guys need you guys don't want to have too much stuff on up here it'll make everything better it'll make everything cleaner but i just have a little plant my mom gave me some hand sanitizer my barber side clipper side to disinfect the clipper some hairspray my water sprayer i have two talcs i have glade 245 shave gel my paint for the airbrush some texturing powder from 245 some disinfectant spray i got three of my neck brushes right here i use pomade so i have the pomade and my alcohol right here and then up here guys i have a retail station if you guys want to make some easy profit and make some extra cash just get a retail station these are the products i sell i sell suavecito beard oil pomade some texturing powder this is good to make some like easy money, easy extra cash. Hey, get a retail station, buy products for the low and sell them for like double the price and you'll get easy money right there. Over here, I have my capes. Right here, I have my, my apron, my Barber Nova cape, a losing cape, another losing cape, and my Suavecito cape for little kids. Right here, I have my other cape, the one I mainly use. Right here, I got a compressor connected to the outside just to blow some hairs blow the hairs off the clients or just to clean up my clippers and stuff over here i got a little speaker that i got at costco a uh, mini fridge to put like drinks and stuff right here i have my my booster for the little kids got two little frames and then over here i got a i got a seat for my clients to sit down and wait and then over here is just my my price list what i charge and stuff but let me show y'all what I got right here. Right here, I just got the extra stuff that I don't really need up here. Got my paint, my nose clipper, extra brushes, stuff, extra stuff that I don't really need, my, my mirror. And then on these little bottom ones, I just have some extra stuff. These are my business cards. And over here, I just have chargers and other extra stuff that I don't really need. All the way down there, I got some my box, my clippers for my boxes. Right there, I don't really have a lot. Yeah, so it's just some small stuff. You guys always want to be sanitized right now, like during this pandemic. Always have some disinfectant on you. Some hand sanitizer. Right here, I got my Sanix for my neck strips. Hey, but yeah, that's all you really need. You don't need to know extra other stuff. You know, I'm not the type of guy to have like five different type of clippers. All you really need is one of each. You just need one clipper, one trimmer, and one shaver. I just got two of these because this one was low-key getting a little old. So this is just like a new one backup. Uh, but yeah, you don't really need a lot of stuff. This is all you need, simple stuff. Keep it clean. It'll make your life way easier, trust. But yeah, that's all you really guys need. Uh, right here, I just got a barber pole from Amazon for like 90 bucks. And then the chair I use is just a chair off Amazon too. I got it for like, I got it for like 250 um but i'm gonna need to get a new one soon because i look he got some big clients and like this is a little bit too small but yeah also my home is gonna come right now so i could zero gap his walls so if you guys don't know how to zero gap if you guys got some new clippers and want to learn how to zero gap them, i'm gonna show you guys real quick right now all right guys i'm gonna show you how to zero gap some wall or badless clippers so all you need is a clipper and and a screwdriver all you want to do is unscrew these barely just barely anything just a little bit to where the blade can move. And now you just wanna close it and make sure the blades are are even. Just use a 
Use like a flat surface and push the blade down. And then make sure make sure it's even. If not, that shit will cut somebody's ear. Make sure it's even on both sides. Go like this, put on a flat surface. Press the blade down. Make sure it's even. Good, that looks pretty even. Check it out, check it out. Show them, show them. Mm -hmm. Now all you guys wanna do when it's even, is tighten them back up slowly, so the blade don't move. And then just check it up again. And then tighten them up all the way. Yo, and that's all you guys gotta do. Is that simple, that easy? And this works with Babyliss too, because they got the same blade. But look at that. Turn it on, turn it on. Alright, guys. Hey, but yeah, guys, that's gonna conclude the video. Hope you guys like my setup. And hope you guys like enjoyed the video. Enjoyed me, um, you know, showing everything that I got around my shop and everything. But yeah, that's gonna conclude the video. And make sure to subscribe, like, comment, uh, and catch you guys in the next one. I'm like, come here, put that pussy on me. Don't be running from me. If I like it, I spend money on it. Get whatever from me. Put these figures in your bitch.